We faced huge mental health challenges in the last few years. We've seen an increase in anxiety, pediatric anxiety, depression, eating disorders, as well as substance use disorders and suicidality. These are huge challenges for primary care providers because we don't have enough pediatric psychiatrists or pediatric psychologists. I had a patient who needed help finding another child psychiatrist, but because of the workforce shortage, there weren't enough people. And so with the Virginia Mental Health Access Program, which is funded by the HRSA grant, now instead, a family can come to a pediatrician's office and get access to care immediately. The Virginia Mental Health Access Program is just one of many mental health access programs throughout the United States. And it's all for the same goal of improving access and care for children, young adults, and their behavioral health. The Pediatric Mental Health Care Access Grant that we received provided us the resources that we needed in order to start our call center, to start the telehealth services, and there are lots of people involved in the trainings, in the consult lines, in the care navigation services that we offer. We're getting phone calls about ADHD, depression, anxiety, substance use, and the pediatrician is looking for some guidance on how to manage those situations. I can call up any day and say, how do I care for this child with pediatric anxiety? How can you help me? So by training and using telehealth, we've expanded the mental health workforce. Through the pandemic, we had an increase in the use of telehealth to deliver care. And with mental health care especially, we found that it works incredibly well. It's convenient, it's accessible. Whether you're in a rural setting or a community clinic, it levels the playing field for everybody to get access to the same team of experts. Using telehealth.hhs.gov is a huge resource for the primary care provider. You can go on that site and see ideas about how you can deliver telehealth in a safe, private, ethically appropriate way for children and how you can enhance your practice through the use of telemedicine.